Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to give yourself admin on your Rust server along with some cool commands that allow you to have some fun and I'll show you how to utilize the admin tools properly so you can be the best admin possible. All right, so if you have not set up a Rust dedicated server yet, I recommend checking out one of my previous tutorials where I'll show you how to go through the process of setting up a server just like this. So once you have your server set up, uh, just go ahead and get connected to it and we can go through the process of adding in an admin. So if we just go ahead and try to run the command here, no clip, you can see nothing happens. It doesn't work. So the very first thing we're actually going to need to do is give ourselves permissions to do that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and add myself as an owner. I find myself having a hard time keeping up with all these commands. And I feel like this is something really important to know that a lot of people tend to skip out on. Um, and it's the find command. This is in Gary's mod and in Rust. So if you just type find and let's say you forgot how to add an owner and you type owner, we can see here we have two commands here. We have uh, owner ID and remove owner. And then let's say you want to add in a moderator. We type find moderator and boom, we have those commands here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and run owner ID and get myself situated. One thing I'm going to need is my steam ID 64. And to get that, if we're connected to the server, we can just go ahead and type status. And then from here, we can see I'm right here. This is my Steam ID. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Then I want to add myself in as an owner. So I'm going to type owner ID followed by a name or an identifier. I'm going to say Dan and I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter now. And now you can see it says added owner Dan Steam ID, etc, etc. et cetera. OK, so now if I go in game, you would assume, OK, I can probably spawn things in, fly around. Uh, if I type no clip, I'm still gravity still applies to me. So that's not working out. So one thing that we need to do is actually save this. But before we save it, I just want to show you where we can find this. So inside our server files, if we go to server, my server identity, and then CFG, you can see that this folder is empty. But well, watch this. If I go ahead and write CFG, you can see it says config saved. And I go back in here and boom, we have our configuration files saved here. And so if I go into the users here, we open that up. You can now see we have owner ID, my ID, and then Dan. So we know that is for sure working. So the next thing I need to do is just go ahead and actually reconnect to the server. This is very important. Reconnect. And then I should have the appropriate privileges. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. So now that we're reconnected to the server, I'm just going to go ahead and open up my console here and run that no clip command. Now you can see we do have access to flying. We are an admin. I just want to walk you through some cool things that you can do as an admin. So you guys can kind of get familiar with this process on your own. Uh, one of the most useful tools, if you open up your console by pressing F1, as we've been doing, and you head over to items, you can now see we have all these items here. And if I just want to go ahead and, for example, give myself a rocket launcher, I could just click arm and I want to give myself some rockets. So let's say a thousand of these incendiary rockets. And now you can see that we have this one thing to note, though, if you see in the chat, um, everyone on the server is going to be aware that we're spawning in these items. So don't try to be sneaky about that. Um, but yeah, you can surely do that. Um, one cool thing as well is you have access to spawning in pretty much any entity. Um, I'm going to see if I can find you a list of the entities that you can spawn in. But for example, if I want to spawn in a bear, I can just go back into console. I could type spawn and then bear and then the bear will spawn exactly where I'm looking. Um, so we can go ahead and spawn in a bunch of NPCs. There might be actually a way to spawn in items as well, aside from the menu here. So if I just say uh, find spawn, uh, you can see we have spawn, spawn at, and you can choose an entity name, a world position, and then a world rotation angle. So there's a, a few arguments here that you need to fill in. You can also spawn in an item. I'm not sure if that will take some form of ID or not. Explore these commands and see what you find for yourself and definitely learn a lot as you mess around with this. So I surely recommend doing that. Uh, one cool thing as well, if you ever want to change the time, this isn't something that you can do so much as an admin, but as a server owner, if you just go here, um, you can see that we have all these variables here and you can actually change these. You can call add time or you can just go ahead and type time. And then if I do zero, it's going to make it dark. If I do time uh, 10, we're back in the daytime. Hopefully there we go. Now we're back in the daytime. Also, one thing uh, that's kind of also neat that you could do if you really wanted to, you could go ahead and flood your server um, so you can go ahead and change the ocean level to, for example, 10. And now the roads are flooded here. And if I want to make it even worse, I could say ocean level 20 and boom, uh, I got a bunch of islands on my map now. <laughs> Obviously, this isn't something that you'd really want to do, but it's just an example of some things that you can really find uh, to mess around. So if you just go ahead and find ocean, uh, you can see that's how I found that command there or find level. And there's just so many things that you can change here. So I really, really recommend taking a moment, 
go through this, find some cool stuff and figure out how to be the best admin you can be. Obviously you are limited to what Rust provides in a vanilla standpoint. However, with modding, if you run a modded server, there are a lot of really cool plugins out there that will surely improve uh, your admin experience and provide you more tools that you would have otherwise. So I strongly recommend taking a look and maybe considering modding your server. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a tutorial for that as well at some point in the future. So I recommend checking that out. Also one quick thing that I forgot to mention, uh, if you ever want to become godded uh, so you don't die, you also have that god command. This should have been mentioned earlier. But one thing to note, I believe this will enable god mode for all admins. I believe it's a global variable which will apply to multiple users. So you can just do god true, god false to turn it on and off. Anyways, that will wrap up this video. I hope you guys learned something from this and you enjoyed it. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night. Take care.